Um, you're not looking at me. I'm trying not to spill the pie. Hi, my name is David. My wife Debbie and I have a blog called The Mountain Kitchen, and today we're going to smoke a pecan pie. We're going to be using a three zone split and some maple wood. We're going to be running the grill between 250, 275, no more than 300 degrees because we really we do want to bake the pie at the same time while we're smoking it. We already got the grill running, got the wood going. Let's get the pie on. My manager's trying to tell me something. Speak up, manager. What kind of setup we got here? We have the three zone split. We have charcoal and wood on this side and um, charcoal and wood on the other side. Nothing in the middle. Nothing in the middle. We're going to be putting smoke to the pie for about an hour and then we will take the smoke off. It should get a nice color and good sweet maple flavor in the pie so hang around and we continue to smoke this pecan pie all right here we go let's take a look at our pie you can see we're getting a pretty color to it right now we're checking the doneness of it and looking at the color we'll take a temperature it's at one 40, 150, oh, it's still going up. But we're trying to get to 185 on the pie. But right now, we want to add a little more wood and a little charcoal to the pie so we can keep the temperature up and put a little more smoke on it until we get the color we want. But it is cooking very well. So we'll be back with more pie. Alright, so we're checking the pie again. We noticed the grill temperature hadn't come back up. So we gotta stir a little coals and we wanna show you this here little wiggle right here. See that little jiggle in there? That tells us right there too that the pie is not done. We got a fire over here. So let's check it with the thermometer. It ain't much longer. So we're going to stoke it up here, get our temperature back up. We probably won't put no more wood on it than what we got in here now. But we're liking the color. So let's go ahead and see if we can get the temperature up and finish getting this pie done.
We're back out here with the pie. It's cool the temperatures and the wind has slowed the grill down some, so it's taking a little longer than what we anticipated to get the pie done. But oh, you can see how it's swelled up and probably not gonna jiggle. Just a little jiggly. But that's a good sign that the pie is cooking very good. So let's take another temperature. One, magic numbers that's 180 we're at 192 so it should be done we're gonna take it up and let it cool probably chill it overnight actually before we try to slice it all right y'all here goes our finished pie we allowed the pie to cool at room temperature. After we did that, we replaced it in the refrigerator and allowed it to stay in the refrigerator overnight. We've noticed that certain things when we do that, it brings more of the smoke flavor out. Um, we actually used a dry wood on this one. The one we did before, we used wet wood chips. That one had more intense smoke flavor. So if you're looking for a real intense pungent smoke, I would suggest soaking your wood chips and then putting them directly on the coals. If you're only looking for a mild of smoke, use the dry chips or whatever you have or chunks or something. But we're going to give this a taste. You can see it cooked up very nice. Has good texture. Tastes like a... like butterscotch and like I said the smoke is just very light on this one which we like it this way you know sometimes you can over smoke the product and it doesn't actually enhance it it takes away from it so but this is the smoked pecan pie we did on the Weber kettle with the maple wood dry First one we did with the wet, and that was very more intense. But for this recipe and more, the mountainkitchen.com.